Hi everybody, this is WCWA Bossman, and I'm just here doing another video because I felt like it. And this video isn't on wrestling, or business, or a topic about um, my life as a disabled person. This video is about um, the Home Run Derby, which took place tonight with Nelson Cruz from Texas, Prince Fielder from Milwaukee, Ryan Howard from Philadelphia, Carlos Pena from Tampa Bay, Albert Pools from St. Louis, Joe Maurer from Minnesota, Adrian Gonzalez from San Diego, and Brandon Inge from Detroit. In round one, Nelson Cruz hit 11 home runs. Prince Fielder hit 11 home runs. Ryan Howard hit seven. Carlos Pena hit six. Joe Maurer hit five. Albert Pujols hit five. And Adrian Gonzalez hit five. Brandon Inge hit none. This led to a three batter swing off between Albert Pools, who hit two, Carlos Pena, who hit one, and Joe Maurer, who hit none, leaving Albert Pools to advance to round number two with Prince Fielder, with Prince Fielder Nelson Cruz, and Ryan Howard. In round two, Nelson Cruz hit five more home runs. Prince Fielder hit six. And Carlos Pena hit Give me a minute. None. Albert Pujols hit six more. I think I got fielders. No. Oh. And if I already covered this, I'm sorry. And Ryan Howard hit eight. Um, this led to Albert Pujols being eliminated, along with Adrian Gonzalez and Joe Maurer, and led to Ryan Howard also being eliminated, which led to a Nelson Cruz Prince Fielder final which Prince Fielder won by hitting six and he is there for the champion. The average distance of Nelson Cruz was 421 feet. The average distance of Fielder was 438 the average distance of Howard was 411. The average distance of Carlos Pena was 424. The average distance of Albert Pujols was 420. The average distance of Joe Maurer was 430 and the average distance of Adrian Gonzalez was 410 and of course Brandon Inge didn't have an average distance because he didn't even register a home run the total home runs was 82 the total distance was 2,900 
54 feet with a total of 6,000 no sorry 665 thousand dollars being raised by these men and their home runs for the Boys and Girls Club. Congratulations to Friends Fielder. It was an interesting home run derby to watch and I want to know those of you who did watch it what your opinions were on this home run derby. After the home run derby they played the celebrity softball game which was coached or headed up by Mike Greenberg on the National League side and Mike Golick on the American League side as it was last year. Golick's team got out to an early lead but Greenberg's team fought back made some really crucial plays and Nelly showed how much of an athlete he actually is and um, ended up, the National League ended up coming back and just barely squeaking out a 10-8 win as Greenberg's team beat Golick's team once again for the second year in a row. So congratulations to Mike Greenberg's team and to Mike Golick. I love you too. Man, you're awesome, but better luck next year. And those are my thoughts on the extracurricular activities of All-Star Week, which are televised. I will at least come on here at least, if not tomorrow night, Wednesday, with some of my thoughts from the All-Star break. Or, not from the All-Star break, but the All-Star game. And I'm a big baseball fan, so I will maybe post some videos on here about my baseball thoughts as well. And yes, I am a Boston Red Sox fan. So... Thank you for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.